The following program is based on the publication Just Suds, The Life and Times of a Very Nice Guy. And as such, any any uh, any any resemblance to, uh, to 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 person or persons and uh, and, and situations is, is is strictly a coincidence. Uh, the uh, 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 the producers of this program are are are, are solely responsible uh, for its content. Oh boy. Hey, you know, I was just thinking, man, is it Friday already? Huh? Hmm. I don't know why I asked, man. I, I just asked, man. See, most of my life is with some kind of organization. Well, some of it, anyway. I mean, things that have to do, man, with, like, family, work, you know, stuff like that, you know? I mean, like, my calendar is marked with birthdays, appointments, you know, and helping Walter and Mildred, you know? Yeah, yeah. So, all in all, things are pretty routine around here. Well, for me, anyway. Yeah. And they help me keep track of where I am and doing what, you know? Is that all important mark in time, man? Yeah. It's trash day. Yeah. I will admit, man, that there's not much in life that falls outside the lid of a good old-fashioned trash can, man. Yeah. In fact, the trash can experience started all this, man. You know? Yeah. Who knew, man? <laughs> Why? Who knew? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. It all started, man, when I got my own trash can. Yeah. It was shiny metal can with a lid that was round, man. And I could see my face in it, too. You know? Yeah. It was a beauty. Yeah. I really took a care of my own trash can, man. Yeah, yeah. I got some paint, and I put my house number on it. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, Walter lives on a hill next door, and his trash cans are always rolling down the hill, man. You know, and mixing with mine, you know. If I didn't know any better, man, you'd think something was going on between the cans, man. Yeah. But if I was wrong, man... I'd be too embarrassed to admit it. No, yeah. But after Walter takes all the trash cans, man, you know, up to his place, I like drop by every Friday afternoon for coffee and then say goodbye, you know, and pick up my shiny trash can and, and go home, you know, yeah, yeah. You know, I was very careful to get the trash can that was sturdy and strong, man, yeah. But after a few weeks, oh, you know, being at the mercy of the city trash collectors, you know, my shiny new trash can was nothing more than sheet metal, man. Yeah. <laughs> and one afternoon, man, I found the lid of my trash can yeah, making nice, nice with the stop sign, man, at the corner of the street, man. Whoa, you know? <laughs> yeah. Well, in the end, man, I couldn't tell the difference between the trash can and the stuff that went in it, you know? Oh, man. <laughs> well, so then I got a replacement can, man. It was set outside by another trash collector, man. Yeah. This thing was big and black and really tough, you know? Uh, it seems that uh, the town now had a private company, you know, that did everything, man. Yeah, everything. Yeah. And it was really interesting, man, to see half of the stuff, man, that went into the truck and the other half that missed, you know? Yeah. You know, you can tell a lot about your neighbors, man, by the trash that misses the truck, you know what I mean? <laughs> One afternoon, Walter was having his trash put into the truck, man, and half of it didn't make it, no, you know? There was all kinds of stuff that Walter had to pick up, you know. And he was really busy, man, picking up a plastic lady mixed in with the paper and napkins and stuff, you know. Yeah. Walter said he was taking dancing lessons on TV, you know, and didn't want to step on any lady toes and be embarrassed, man, no. So he got this plastic lady to dance with until he got good. 
and went out for real, you know. Yeah, I got to give Walter credit, man. That was really nice of him to be so considerate, you know. He must have stepped on a lot of toes of that plastic lady, though. Well, well, it's a good thing he has one of those small portable air compressors, man, you know. Uh, uh, well, uh, anyway, uh, uh, where was I, man? Oh, yeah, yeah. I had a small canoe, man. It was a little more like a submarine than anything, yeah. I had a small trailer that I used to put the canoe on, yeah, to tow to the lake, yeah. And one day, you know, I came home with the canoe in tow, man, yeah, but no trailer. <laughs> uh, it seemed that the canoe and the trailer yeah, had a parting of ways, you know. Yeah. Anyway, the trash guy couldn't take the canoe as is, yeah. So I got smart, yeah. I chopped it up in little pieces, man, and put it a small bag out, you know. Little at a time, man. <laughs> Pretty clever, huh? Yeah. Uh, it only took two years, but uh, no more sitting on the bottom of the lake for me, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, man. Uh, oh, oh, I think I hear the truck, man. You know, I, I got to go, man. You know, I got to put my can out, you know. Hey, hey, nice talking to you, man. Hey, you take care, okay? Okay. Yeah, bye. Yeah, bye now. Bye. I gotta, I gotta go. Put my can out. Okay, bye-bye. Hey, John, look up. The street light's on. It's time for us to go. Hey, you're right there, Bobby. But, folks, y'all come back next week and tune into our show. Remember, Remember folks, folks, you can, you can have, have a, a good time, time without us, us, but we can't have one without you. you. So long. I'll be the same. So long. Come on out. Come on back. See it? Are they leaving? You can't. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. How long? See you later. Ta ta. Harry Fatherchi. Uh, uh, bye bye, man. Uh, later, dear partners. Uh, <laughs> see you all around. Yeah, next time, etc. Uh, watch your step, there, son. Uh, oh, oh, uh, watch it. He doesn't like to be scratched there. <laughs> okay. You all go. Bye bye.